All right, I have another five minute teaching for you based out of Exodus chapter 14, verse 14. This teaching might only be five minutes, but the point of getting these little sound bites of scripture is to meditate on them, to apply them to your life, to learn about the character of God through them. And in doing so, you are doing what scripture is supposed to be doing in your life. So Exodus chapter 14, verse 14 says, I'm reading this out of the NIV. The Lord will fight for you. You need only be still. And this is one of those verses that people love to quote. And, um, you know, if you went to Hobby Lobby right now, I guarantee you, you could find a little wooden white plaque with some black brush lettering that said it like 20 bucks on it. <laughs> Everyone loves to quote this verse and it's good. It's a good verse. Let's get a little context on what this verse means and why it still applies to your life and how to use it. So Exodus, if you're not familiar, is the story of the Israelites leaving slavery in Egypt and traveling to Mount Sinai. That's kind of what the book of Exodus covers. In um, chapter 14, the Israelites have finally left Egypt and they have come to what English has translated as the Red Sea. That's actually not what the Hebrew is. The Hebrew is the Reed Sea, which nobody really knows where it is or what that was. Um, I don't know that that really matters today. What matters is the Israelites were up against a body of water. They could not cross it. They were stuck. And then, <laughs> Not only being stuck up against this body of water, they turn around and there's the Egyptian army behind them coming after them. Pharaoh decided, nah, I ain't letting these people go. I'm not going to let them think that I'm soft. We're going to get rid of them. So here comes Pharaoh with 600 chariots, which think it like chariots were the epitome of warfare at the time coming at you. The people cry out to Moses and they're like, what the heck, Moses? You brought us here and you are just leaving us to die. Thanks. <laughs> so Moses encourages the people. Verse 13 in chapter 14, Moses answered the people, says, do not be afraid. Stand firm and you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring you today. The Egyptians you see today, you will never see again. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. And that's when the uh, the famous parting of the Red Sea, Reed Sea, happens. The water split. God's breath, his rock, breathes on the water and they split. The people go through. The water comes back over the Egyptians that are chasing them. And, you know, voila, their problem is solved. So, really cool ancient story. How does that thousands of years later apply to you? Um, more so than just a really cute sign that you got at Hobby Lobby and hung up in your living room. Maybe your bathroom. I don't know. More so than that, I think this shows the character of the Lord in that when you come up to problems that you don't know how to solve, that you don't know where to go, that he will fight that battle for you, that you cannot do it in your own might and your own strength. Moses tells the people, don't be afraid, stand where you are. They didn't have a choice. He's acting like they had a choice. They had nowhere to go. A million people just floundering about. They didn't have a choice. But I think he was asking them to be still in their hearts and their souls to let their mind be calm and know that the Lord didn't bring them this far just to abandon them and leave them. And that applies to you. The Lord did not bring you this far to just up and leave you all of a sudden and abandon you where you are and not fight for you. So the next time you come up against a battle that doesn't make sense, that you are fighting something, go to the Lord first and ask him to fight for you. And then all you need to do is sit back and be still and that battle will be won for you.
that's his character. That's who God is. So take this verse, take it beyond the cute little Pinterest saying and apply it to your life and actually live it out and see what changes.